Let's also change another default, and that's the behavior of the arrow key. By default, it's going to depend on your zoom factor, the way it behaves. So if I'm zoomed way in, I'm going to hit the left and right arrow, and sure enough, you can see by the time code readout that it's going one frame at a time, backwards and forwards. However, zoom all the way out, and what happens is it's this jumping based on the zoom amount and not necessarily one frame. I don't find that particularly handy. I want to have that always go one frame no matter how much I'm zoomed in or out. So this will also give me an opportunity to show you how we can customize the keyboard commands. So let's go to Options, Customize Keyboard, and I want to reprogram what the left and right arrow do. So under Shortcut Key, I'm going to click in that box, hit the right arrow, and it reads that shortcut is currently assigned to nothing in particular. But I want to go left and right by one frame. So in order to go through all these zillion and one commands that we can possibly assign, let's narrow it down by doing a bit of a search and say, show commands containing cursor. And under cursor, we're going to see cursor right by frame. In other words, move the cursor right by one frame. And when I clicked on that, my shortcut key went away. So let's re-enter that. Right arrow and add. So now I've associated this command, cursor to right by one frame, with the right arrow. Let's do the same thing for going left by one frame left by frame, click in shortcut keys, hit the left arrow, and add. So now I've associated those two. Notice also we're working with track view. In some cases a keystroke will behave differently depending on what part of the interface you're using. You do have to take care that anything you reset will work in the view that you intended to. So I click OK. And now when I hit the right arrow, it's going to go one frame. You can see it's now at 39, 17, 18, 19, left by one frame. Just to make double sure, I'm going to zoom way out here. And sure enough, the arrow is moving the cursor one frame at a time.